this episode of On The Set, I'm taking a look at Jingle All The Way, the Christmas movie featuring Sinbad and Arnold. <laughs> Let's get into it. The film starts off with Howard Langston, a mattress salesman who spends more time at work than he does at home. His wife Liz and son Jamie often get bothered by their neighbor Ted, who basically is trying to swoop on Howard's wife. Jamie's graduating karate class and Howard, of course, misses it because he's working. To make up for it, he plans on getting Jamie a Turbo Man action figure for Christmas, a popular children's toy. The problem is, it's popular, which means it's literally sold out everywhere. He could have already had one, because his wife told him to buy one weeks ago, but he didn't remember. Did you, Howard? So, what does he do? He decides to go out on Christmas Eve of all days to find the Turbo Man figure. That's pretty laughable. Come on, man, be serious. In the process of searching, Howard runs into a guy named Myron, who's also looking for the figure. Eventually, Howard finds one and buys it. But, the guy he bought it from is running a shady operation out of a warehouse, and the police show up to raid the place. After narrowly escaping that, Howard calls his son, Jamie, who wants him to be home in time for a holiday parade. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that, kid. Then, to top it off, Howard freaks out and yells at him. Wow, father of the year. Later on, Howard runs back into Myron at a diner, where they hear about a radio competition with the winner getting a Turbo Man figure. A brief fight ensues and they haul ass to the radio station, causing a bunch of chaos along the way. Once they get there, they find out that the competition is for a gift certificate, not for an action figure. Around this time, the police show up to the station to detain both of them, but Myron threatens the police with a fake bomb. One of the officers, who's been chasing after Howard for basically the whole movie, checks out the package, and it blows up in his face. A while later, Howard goes home to find Ted hanging out with his family and putting the star on top of their tree, a tradition that Howard always did. For revenge, Howard sneaks over to Ted's house and grabs the Turbo Man figure from under their tree, the one he bought for his own son. Ooh, savage. But then again, fuck that guy. However, Howard couldn't go through with it and puts it back. Liz sees him in the process of stealing it and ditches him to go to the Christmas parade with Ted. And then, Ted finally makes a move on her, but he fails pretty bad. As that's going on, Howard heads to the parade to get his family back, but is cut off by the cop that's been following him. Howard goes to hide out in a room that ends up being a fitting room for the parade. And he gets mistaken for an actor and gets dressed up as Turbo Man. So, once he's on the parade float, Howard gets the chance to give away a special edition Turbo Man figure to anybody in the crowd. And of course, he's going to choose Jamie. But, Myron ruins that by showing up dressed as Dementor, Turbo Man's arch enemy. Myron takes the figure and runs. Then another fight occurs, this time with the jetpack taking them both to a rooftop. The police show up to arrest Myron for stealing the figure, and Howard is labeled a hero. Then, in a twist, finally in possession of the figure after all this time, Jamie just gives it away to Myron's son, saying that now his dad is his real hero. Aww. The end. Well, this one is a classic. I mean, how can you go wrong with Arnold and Sinbad? Also, Phil Hartman's in this one. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it for sure. Alright guys, I'll see you later.